Uh, good morning. This Pasha the coming week is Pasha Kitovo, and the theme is a heavy responsibility. And Moshe and Kohanim Levites spoke to all of Israel, saying, Be attentive and hearken, O Israel, this day you have become a nation unto the Lord your God. Deuteronomy 27 9. The covenant of which we read in our portion, Kitovo, began to be described some 16 chapters ago in the portion of Re'e, with the blessings, with the blessings which were to be at Har Grizim and the cursings on Har Evo, and concludes with the blessing which is life and the, and the curse which is death. Commanding Israel to choose life at the end of the portion Yitzavim, this is clearly a, a third and new covenant in addition to the religious covenant which God made with Israel at Chorib, Deuteronomy 21, 28, 6, 9. And to, be, and to be added to the original national covenant between Ben Hapsod and Pieces, Genesis 25, which God guaranteed Abraham eternal descendants and a familial homeland. Most importantly, why did this covenant enter in by God in Israel directly before their entry into the promised land and to the mission of Israel. The place of covenantal agreement was <clears throat> Arvot Moab, the plains of Moab at the entry of the point of Israel from the position of Transjordan. That was the place of the two mountains and the blessings and curses near the city of Shechem, Nablus. The Talmud in Sota 37b in, enjoys a play on the words transforming Ar, Aravot into Arivut, into signalship, transforming Aravot into the Arivut responsibility, responsibility for what and for whom. In our portion, the Israelites are commanded to take up tw 12 large stones on the day in which to cross the Jordan River to build an altar of unknown stones without using any implements of iron and to rejoice with the whole burnt offerings and peace offerings, just as had been done 40 years before upon sealing their second covenant at Chorev, Exodus 24, 14. And they were commanded to write upon the stones all the words of the Torah explained very well the Er Hei Tev, 27, 8 interpreted by our sages as cited by Rashi and translated into 70 languages. Logic would dictate that it was the 12 imprecations at Har Evol, which were written on 12 stones, each translated into 70 languages. More of the Torah than these specific directives under the threat of curse would be a virtual impossibility to contemplate. The 70 languages suggested by our rabbis, sages, <clears throat> may, be, may be the languages understood by the literal people of what period, of that period and era. The crimes meriting the curses were reminiscent of the legal code of the Decalogue and even the seven Noahide laws, cursing idolaters, degrading appearance, um, moving of boundaries, those who block the path taken by the blind person. Parameters of justice do our proselyte, orphan and widow, sexual masters and murderers. The list of imprecations begins again with against the ish, genuine human dignity, who makes a molten image, the mount, <coughs> The, the, the noun Israel never appearing in this context, but the, the introduction is presented by Moshe and the Kohanim Levite to all Israel, saying, be attentive and hearken to, and hearken to Israel. And this day has become a, you have become a nation to the, to the to Lord your God, Deuteronomy 27, 9. I would submit that this third covenant of responsibility is a responsibility as a Jewish nation to the rest of the, <clears throat> to the rest of the nations on the planet, to all humanity. 
way back at the dawn of history, before God entered into the covenant between Ben Absalom, between the peace and promising Abraham, an eternal seed and the national homeland. God challenged the first the Hebrew patriarch, I shall, make, I shall make you a great nation, and all the families of the earth shall be blessed through you. Genesis 12, 3. God chose Abraham because Abraham was teaching his household the path of, of the Lord to do compassionate and moral justice. And before the second religious covenant of the Declad, God charged Israel with becoming Mamlachas Kohanim Go Kadosh, a kingdom of priests, teaches humanity and the holy nation. So now before our entry into Israel, in our assumption, for the first time, our national status, we are given the message of divine morality, the prerequisite of a world of peace, a life rather than a nightmare of destruction and death, compassionate righteousness and moral justice. The Kohanim Levites give this mission to the entire Jewish people near Shechem, which is the burial place of the Universalist Joseph, who brought God to the morality of, to Egypt and dreamed of re reaching the sun, the moon, and the stars. And if we fail in this mission, then the result will be a world of mayhem, darkness, with Israel as its most vulnerable victims. The chastisement of Deuteronomy 28, the Tochacha, which are even more chilling than the blood which is inextricably part of the early two covenants, the blood of circumcision and the blood sprinkled on the divine altar and over the Israelites at Sinai. We have now returned our nation state. We are truly about to enter the stage of world history, extremist Islam, which threatens to plunge the world into a black, black period of religious terrorist demand domination and the jihad's embrace of force and power. Operation Protective Edge was an example of life against death, blessing against curse, freedom against slavery. <clears throat> Two of the most beautiful statements of Judaism are, Kol Yisrael Haver Mizerazer, every Jew is a, is a friend to one another, and Kol Yisrael Arev Mizerazer, every Jew is responsible for one another. May we continue to carry our responsibility to Klal Israel and to the world at large with courage and resolve. May Akash Baro continue and give strength to his people Israel and bless Israel, Klal Israel, and the entire world with shalom, peace. Shabbat shalom.